I'm recording another YouTube video and I'm here to talk about Nintendo's new law in Japan that says it's more like this, it's more like the fair play gaming law that says you can't modify a game console in Japan in any way, shape, or form and I'm also here to talk about the yeah, the act I just mentioned before, how you can't modify say that and put it on a console because that's cheating and it's a big deal and this should result in a prison fine. First of all, what I'm trying to say is that's insane. That is just insane this to say anybody who modifies say that and puts on a console is a is a hacker. I get that they wanna stop I get I get that they want I get that they wanna stop piracy, but that is to say people who are modifying save data and put are 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 causing lots of money, it's just borderline insane. For one, for one it's insane to call other people criminals. They're also saying the law also dictates that anyone selling uh, software keys to third party software to, to third party software to sell keys online is also that's also banned too. There's a bunch of things by the law, but I'm here to just say that anyone cheating at a game or modifying say data or say data ads there are now banned. That's insane. First of all, it's insane just to, you know, to say people who cheat. For one, I cheat. For one, I cheat at a game. I never cheat at a game. I never had any type of interest in modifying a game. I'm, or I never had anything about modifying my PlayStation 4, my PlayStation 3, my Xbox 360, or any of them. I never had any interest in doing it. I never had any interest in modifying those game consoles. I think it's silly that people now have to worry about going to prison in Japan because because modifying your safe data is now considered a felony crime in Japan. Here's what I think. I think people... Here's what I think. I'm kind of mad at the YouTube community because nobody's really getting angry and upset about this because why this may have just become law in Japan like a few weeks ago, it could easily become law over here. It could easily be all our problem if we don't stand up, if we don't stand up and contact our we don't stand up and contact our government. Okay, if we don't stand up and contact our congressmen, it could easily become law in the power regions, European China, European China, British, United States. Who, who, could, who could say that they're not trying to have it become law here? It's, what's insane about it is how people are just, you know, agreeing that it's a little bit, that, that, oh, that cheating is bad, cheating is bad. That cheating is bad at games. I don't think cheating is bad. Cheating is fun, you know? There was a long time ago, there was a long time ago, during the early 90s where Nintendo tried to take the game company who made the Game Genies for the NES and try to sue them over that. But some of that, and that failed because the Game Genie only affects the game by mod... Um, in-game, in real time, by modifying... By modifying code allows you to jump higher and does allow you to cheat and do stuff that's normally impossible. And for game companies, that's to assume that people are just going to go a step back. But that was back then. And for game companies, that's to people are just going to take this and buy these major systems for Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, Steam, Value, and good. Assume that games gamers are just going to take this and this buy their game systems, buy their hundreds of millions next year, buy the next gen consoles. That's insane for them to do that. First of all, first of all, they're treating us like we're it is like we have to take this, like like people aren't gonna get pissed and stop buying games. Number one number one, I like buying I like buying video games, but they're gonna just slam me that I'm a a criminal because I cheated and modified my save that I'm not gonna support the game industry. I'm not I'm gonna call it what it is. Then call it what it is. A bunch of a bunch of BS. And I'm not going to sit here and blindly this accept it. And you shouldn't either. And you shouldn't either. I'm about ready to start myself a hashtag on on my Twitter account that says that there's something that says "fuck this new gaming law in Japan." But if you want to accept this and then say. Oh, what Nintendo and Microsoft and Sony is doing is right, then you're an idiot. You're an idiot for not wanting to tell anybody about this. I wish there were YouTubers who were getting angry about this. And once upon a time, there was a YouTuber called Apple Mega City. He made videos about everything, but 
he may be the part of that he used to get angry and emotional. He didn't disagree. He wasn't just a, a top gamer. And he would spoke out against something like this. But lately, all he does is live stream. They all just live stream. I still wish Apple Mega C was kind of making videos, but you know, I'm just speaking out on, on YouTube on this platform because number one, I have the right to, and we still have freedom of speech. And I'm just saying, I'm probably not going to buy next gen consoles. Until next time, I'll probably see you in the next video. See you next time. Later, bye.